tetrahydrofuran, has a shape of cyclic ether. It is also named as oxaline, with molecular formula C4H8O, it has molecular weight of 72.107 gram per mole. According to Laboratory Chemical Safety Summary, LCSS, datasheet, it is flammable, carcinogenic and irritating to eyes. It is mainly used as solvent in industrial processes such as in producing PVC and varnishes. About 200,000 tons of THF are produced annually. The industrial process used to produce THF shown here is dehydrocyclization. The raw for butanediol while the catalyst needed is sulfuric acid. There are two reactions happening in the process. The first reaction in which THF is formed from 1,4-butanediol is the main reaction in the process. Also, THF will produce byproduct which is N-butyraldehyde in the process. The process flow diagram of the production of tetrahydrofuran. Let's focus on the main reactor R101 first. First, 1,4-butanediol and sulfuric acid which is the acid catalyst is mixed and sent into the reactor. An equimolar of tetrahydrofuran in water is formed at stream 4. Steam is supplied to the reboiler, E101, to maintain the temperature of the reactor at the desired range. My products and spent catalyst are discharged from the bottom of the reactor to the outside of the reaction system. Now, let's focus on the three distillation column. In the first distillation column, a vapor mixture of tetrahydrofuran and water fed from the reactor, stream 4, and an azeotropic mixture of tetrahydrofuran and water recycled, stream 17, from the second distillation column are supplied to be distilled. Water is being removed at the bottom of the column. In the second distillation column, the effluent from the top of the first column is pressured by means of pump or supplied to be distilled. Tetrahydrofuran is obtained from the bottom of the column. In the third distillation column, the bottom of the second column is supplied to it for further purification. High purity of tetrahydrofuran is obtained from the top of the third column. The bottom of the third column is then recycled back to the reactor due to the presence of N-butyraldehyde which able to prevent a decrease in tetrahydrofuran yield and improving its purity. Reactors details. First, 10 kg of 1,4-butanediol that contained 98.5% of 1,4-butanediol was mixed with 10 grams of sulfuric acid and fed into the reactor through stream 3 at 0.64 kg per hour. The raw materials then went into the continuous tubular reactor or PFR with dimension of 50 mm inner diameter and 1 meter of length. The reactor is made from hastaloy, a corrosion-resistant nickel alloy that contains other chemical elements such as chromium and molybdenum for better corrosion resistance. In the reactor, dehydrocyclization of 1,4-butanediol occurred in the presence of homogeneous catalyst, sulfuric acid at temperature of 130 degrees Celsius and pressure of 2 kg per centimeter cube. Some of the liquid in reactor will float into the reboiler and heated up to 130 degrees Celsius then float back into the reactor. Stream 4 is the top product that contained a mixture of tetrahydrofuran and water at 1 to 1 molar ratio in vapor phase at rate of 0.63 kg per hour.